everyone, Davey Davey here with another video. Big in the music. My dear, it's loud. Yeah, anyway. Welcome aboard as I take a look for the very first time at Switch and Shoot on the Xbox One. Press any button. Okay, let us press the uh, Y button. Any button. I'm pressing any button. You want me to press the A, don't you? Thank you. Why? Oh, there you go. Why press any button when none of the any buttons work apart from A? I never understood that. Anyway, hit the hanger and save the world if possible. Yeah, let's go extras because I'm guessing. Oh, oh, we can't. We can't. I want to go up. Oh, that's what you want me to do. You want me to highlight it. I thought you want me to press the thing, the three button or three line thing. Ah, I'm confused already. Pick your stuff, so it's just the way you like it. Border art. Oh, that's the uh, bloody thing. Turn it to the. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. I might break this TV. But, uh, now, shall we keep it? Yeah, I think we'll keep it, actually. We'll keep it all. Because it is nice. Colors? Oh, no, 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 no. Keep it as it is. Fuck it. Keep it as it is. Uh, the one that was thinking was, like, the controls? And you don't give me any? Fine. Let's just start the game, shall we? Hooray. Right, so... I'm guessing it's just you move about, you press A to shoot, you possibly have a bomb, and that will do. Break a leg. Thaff? Is his name Thaff? Or, or what if I even pronounce it even? Thaff. My name is Davey, you twit. Now you press any button. Oh, he moves by himself. What, 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 what? what? Oh, wait a minute, that's why it's called Switch and Shoot, look! Oh, you are kidding me! Oh, you are bullshitting- what?! So, you practically have just one button. Oh, don't say- I'm saying that there, I'm not doing too badly. Oh, I was not doing too badly, I jinxed it, and I scored 30 points, and yet, I'm one of the best yet, and I got Swiss Cadet. Got a final score of 10, thank you for that. Well, who have we got? Matt, well, Matt wrote the game, so, I, of course he's going to be number one. Scummings, Leanne, I'm not even going to bother, Lone Fox and Duck, me, Luca, Dan, Shauna, Neil, and Lauren. Yeah. Anyway, so basically, this is why it's called Switch and Shoot. Focus, now I'm Veal, I'm guessing you're given a randomly generated name every single time. Yeah, press any button. That includes pressing the stick. So you can press the stick, you can move the D-pad left and right, and I'm dead already, and yet I won the best yet, because I only scored four points. Thank you for rubbing it in. Mr. Whatever you're supposed to be. Good luck, Beast. Finally, a name that makes sense. Beast. Yeah. Already, I'm not getting over this. It's just... So and then what are these I'm collecting? Oh, that is the thing at the top. Right. Right, again. There's a thing at the top. I'm guessing that fills up. You do a special move. I'm getting my guns a lot better. See? Hello. 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 Now we're getting somewhere. It took three attempts, but we're finally getting somewhere. Oh my god. Oh, hyperdrive. Hello. And I got that. Whatever it was. Okay, now we're getting... Oh, I couldn't get that because the enemy was there. Get that, thank you. Oh, avoid.
I don't know what to make of this. I mean, I guess its goal was to be... Oh, what's that? Oh, it's shield. Wonderful. Wonderful. The goal was to make it like simplistic. You just have one button and that's it. I mean, come on. Oh, well, anyway, we're into uh, Sector 3. Terrific. Now we're getting into this. And it's not just one button. You can go any button. I was able to use the D-pad, press the left stick. Oh, couldn't get that. Oh, now it's getting frantic. Now I'm in trouble. Oh. At least I have the shield to protect me. Right. Avoid him. Oh. Oh, I couldn't get it. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Get that, thank you. So the bar goes full, that happens, and then you get one more, and then you get that. Reset the four. What is that? Oh, it's a boss. Boss time, everyone. Uh oh. What did he hit? Oh, his eye. Dude, his eye. Oh. Oh, hello. Yes. Go for the. Oh, good God. Yes, now we're getting some more. Oh no, avoid! Get the shield. Yes, that will come just in handy. Gimme. Oh, oh, ooh, that was lucky. That was lucky. Get it. Yes, we got him. Sector 5. This has exceeded all my expectations. Well, I know what to make of this. Oh, on one hand it works because it's simple. On the other hand it doesn't work because it's finicky. Especially when you get yourself into a tight spot like that and you're just wobbling all over the place and it makes no sense. And we got Switch Lieutenant. Get a final score of 100. Mate, I got over 6. How the bloody hell Matt got 990? Oh yeah, because he wrote the game. Switch Captain, a final score of 500. Those achievements tend to glitch if you get, like, say, say the new Geo games for instance. There's three achievements for each mode. If you get tier 2, tier 1 does not tend to unlock. And look at that. I got 100, 500, and then 250. Uh, wow, we're flying with the achievements here now. The big red one. Whoa, hello. Kill an incubator. At least they're unlocking. Because we've had another achievement. We've had an issue lately where achievements weren't unlocking. Well, they were unlocking, but unlocking in the background. You didn't get any of this. Whoa, wow, we. How many achievements does this have got? Acquire a shield. Oh, you. I'm guessing you really went out there, but I'm guessing you unlock when you die. And that's it, thank the Lord. Wow, we. And there probably was another one that didn't unlock, because that tends to happen when you get multiple achievements. But uh, that's probably the most achievements I've had to unlock at one time. Good grief. Anyway, another go. Go forth. Oi log. Wow. Some of these names. Well, I guess it looks spacey, so fair enough. Right. Get that. Yeah, on one hand it works because it's simplistic, but on the other hand it doesn't work. Well, I could just... Yeah, you could, uh, baby, yeah. But then I'm guessing when you get to this point, you can't. See, the way they're like, it's like lava, you can't. Looks unhappy to be in Sector 2. No, he just looks unhappy in general. Uh, see, I tried to go from one side of the screen to the other, and it didn't work. So it was a measly 60. 
At least we beat, uh, Thaf. And Veal. At least we beat them. Goodbye for now, Knee Bun. Okay. I like the music. I'm digging the music. For a start. The look is simple, and then you can change. We'll probably do that for fun. Right. After this game, we will change the colors. For a bit of fun. But the look is simple, which you can customize anyway. The border art, I'm not really one for particularly, say, retro um, arcade compilations, where they insist you play with a border in the background. No, give me the screen as it is, but here it works. It does work for what it is. But the gameplay, the one button element of it, part of me thinks it works and part of me thinks it doesn't. I mean, I get the goal was to make it simplistic. I get it. But how... I suppose once you get your head around it, and it took me three goes to get my head around it, it does kind of work. Like, if people were to be critical of this game, I would get why. Well, we're getting somewhere here. I've got the shield. I'll get my power-ups. Oh, I messed up. See, that's the problem with it being... The, the, the nature of it is. And again. See, that could easily have been avoided if it wasn't the way it was. Easily. I might as well be prepared to end the video anyway because, I mean, this is, this is all there is to it. And it's done. 274 for the bond. Now, how do we get back to, I'm guessing that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So as an added bonus, press any button. I want to press the right trigger. Do you press the left stick? No. Do you press the right stick? No. A, yeah, isn't it? I never go on with that. For a bit of fun, let's change the colors. For once, color spelled with you. Terrific. Yay, that makes me happy. Palette. Switch and shoot. Oh, I see. Look. Oh, I see. It's different palettes like this. I see. Right. And then that's what we... Oh, Xbox. Oh. Now we kind of want to make our own. Color preset. Is that... Oh my god. Oh lo lord almighty. I mean, that looks okay. But let's make our own, shall we? Ship color, I want to change him to pink. Oh, okay. I kind of see what the problem is with this. Fine, let's go yellow. Let's go yellow. Alien color, fine, they can be pink. Effects color, can they be red? Red for blood. Uh, power up color. Or shall I just make it all. What am I doing again? Oh, power ups color, yes. The power ups. They can be white, sure. They can be white. And the shield color. No, don't want to make it. Uh, because if it's black, you'll have to change the whole background. And I kind of want to keep the background uh, black. Let's make that... Let's make it green. And then see the background colour. Oh no, I reset all the colours! You dickhead! I was just going to do that. You could play it on a... What, why would you? Oh, we didn't. We, yeah, we did. We did, kind of, we did didn't we? Ship color was yellow. I'll get to try eventually, guys. That was pink. The effects color was a ham. It's very fiddly, actually. Gotta be honest, it's very fiddly. 
See? I think I've changed the uh, shield, yeah. I wanted to change the Apollo's color to... Uh, what did I change it to? I can't even remember! It was white, wasn't it? Right, now let us see what we have done. Let's see what we've... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look what we've created. An absolute masterpiece. Let's do it. Remember your training, Kugax. See, this could be fun. The fact that you're doing this and you're... Also, your bullets are... You can be creative and create your own uh, color scheme. See, this I like. The creative uh, side of me likes this. I approve. This is a fun little mode. And then you can make everything one color. Like a black background and everything is one color. Like the good old... In fact, I'm tempted to do that. Next, I'm tempted to do that. Just make everything one color, like it was in the dear old ZX Spectrum days. And then for proper effect, I might turn the border art off. So this I like, the, um, the fact that you can be creative and just make up your own color scheme as you go along. That I like. There you go, green shield, lovely jubbly. Oh, but did I lose the shield? No, I didn't. I didn't. What I did was you missed that. That's what happened. So you powered the. Oh no. Oh no. There's only sector two. I've probably given this game more exposure than it needs, but, you know, screw it. At least I'm making an attempt here. Also, what color would the boss be, I wonder? We probably mightn't find out, but uh, I wonder. I cannot help but wonder. Yeah, another problem is it's very repetitive. I get it. Right, and what color are you? Pink! Hooray! A lovely pink boss to play with. Wonderful. Oh, 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 wow, oh, that, that looked actually nice. The slime mixed with lightning. I like that. Oh, I messed up. Oh no. See, look. Wow, that's nice. The pink goo mixed with lightning. Yeah, thank you. Well, of course, there's a problem doing all one color. I'll tell you why, because the scores will be one color, which means you won't be able to see the scores. Whoops, he killed me with his lightning. Ah, dear. Never mind, never mind. Let us go one more attempt with the uh, colors and let us see about trying. We'll keep it yellow, but we'll do the aliens yellow as well. We will do the uh, effects yellow. The power ups will make them yellow. What's the difference between the shield and the um... But this is how it was in the good old days. Where everything was all monochrome and it was one colour. Let's try that, shall we? It's probably not going to work, but it's just a curiosity thing. It's probably not even going to work. Here we go. Oh, I didn't turn the background off. My fault. Oh no, hey, it's working, there you go. Motocron graphics, everyone. 
Lovely. This is how it was back in my day, where you had the monochrome graphics, everything was one colour, all the sprites, all the backgrounds. Wasn't always the case with the, uh, the older games, the older games I played. Moon Cresta, for instance, the Spectrum port of it was really good, nice and colourful. There was another game that had different colours. Um, the tutor. What was it called? Mega Apocalypse. It was a nifty little game I played in the uh, ZX Spectrum. I'll have to try and do a video for them at some point. Yeah, this works fine. Have everything just one color. See, there's your shield. Oh, we lost the shield. Or rather, we didn't get the shield. So this will be the last one and then we'll do it. But that's a nice little feature. That you can change the colors and you can make it as... I'm not, I'm not going to do it in this because the count counter won't agree with it. But you could make it as ugly as possible. You know, blight, blight, <laughs> bright blue uh, background. Uh, well, I think I meant a uh, light blue rather uh, background. Make the enemies red. Add some yellow into it, and make it just as painful for the eyes as possible. I'm not going to do it, but you can do it. You can make it look like an old Macintosh, you can make it look like um, an old acorn. You can just customize it whatever way you want, and I like that. I do wish they added more colors, but then again, I guess that's trying to emulate the limitations of your old computer. You didn't get altered. Like the ZX Spectrum, for instance, didn't have brown. There's no such thing as brown on your ZX Spectrum. Uh, games, which made snooker games rather awkward, because of course you have the brown ball. Now how is this going to look? It's just going to look like that, isn't it? And there's a nice throwback to the retro days, where you had just monochrome graphics. Oh, that was too close for comfort, but we missed the thing. Oh, we lost the shield! No, Davy. Get it. Get that. Thank you. That did a thing. Oh, no, it didn't. Uh, got it. Oh, that was too close. Too close. Oh, no. See, this is the problem now. I cannot see how many I need. Oh, dude. Keep missing it. Oh, but, oh we're nowhere near it. We are nowhere near it. Get that. Oh, we messed it. The whole mechanics of this game is just coming back to bite me. It really is. And I messed it again. This has not gone well at all. And I messed it again because too busy trying to shoot the enemies. Oh, shall we just... Okay, that didn't look too good. Okay, that was my fault because I did everything one color. But anyway, that will do for Switch and Shoot on the Xbox One. You're going to have to put up with this giant yellow blob firing his laser at you. Um, I don't know what to make of this here, frankly. I mean, on one hand it works. On the other hand, it doesn't work. It just makes the whole thing a pain in the arse. Frankly, um, I get their goal was to be simple and to keep being simplistic, but um, I don't know, it just didn't gel with me. It made things more a hassle, but I guess that was its intention. But this is a nice touch, the changing colors, so you can just customize it whatever way you want to suit you. That I dig, and that I think is the best part of the game, which says everything. Anyway, I think that will do for this one. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon with the next one.
Until then, take care and goodbye for now.